beautiful buddies and welcome back to Rebuilding Strange Town. Now today we have a little starter home um, in the mobile home section of Strange Town. Well technically Strangerville but you guys know this is Rebuilding Strange Town so. <laughs> This um, um, house is actually going to go to uh, Mr. Loner. Um, if you, I haven't created him yet, so if you guys don't know who that is, he is another sim in the sim bin. And the sim bin for The Sims 2 is basically like manage households for us in The Sims 4. So yeah, he didn't have like a home originally. Like he was like the, um, the singles girls. You guys know when I first originally like announced that I'm doing um, Strange Town, like that was the first household I did. Um, and they were also located in The Sim Bin. But yeah, we can't forget about them. <laughs> um, because like, I feel like, I feel like cause Sims 2 didn't have like overwhelmingly like a lot of households like in their worlds. So I feel like adding the Simbin Townies gives it even more of a like, you know, it gives it more meat, you know, it gives it more meat to like the whole, the whole storylines and things like that. So I like to add them in too. But I wanted to keep this house relatively cheap in case you guys do like want to kick out like those Simbin Townies and things like that. If you guys wanted to kick him out, Mr. Loner, and like add your own family in here, you could. Um, <laughs> I added a little like cute twist on this because like I said too, um, other than like the the households that like have a set house, I like to do kind of like my own thing for the other houses that are empty or for Simbin Townies that didn't have one. Um, so this house household like is obviously like it's very very much like a mobile home but I wanted to give it kind of like a cute spin to it that like the other original like mobile home here didn't really have like it kind of had like mo more of like a drab look to it and I I wanted to give this one a, like a little bit nicer like look to it so it's like a nice nice mobile home question mark I guess but yeah I, I tried to make it nice for 20k um, and I, and I think it turned out well, but I'm willing to see what you guys have, have to say about this. I'm currently recording this, um, the weekend before I have to move out and, um, do finals, but, and I originally didn't really intend to, like, record and, like, do a video, but I got back from today from doing, like, a speech that I've been working so, so hard on, um, and I just felt like... I just felt like I just needed a little study break, you know? Like, I felt like I wanted to do something quiet and creative on my own. <laughs> like, no, no offense to my friends, I love them. But I just needed to do something quiet and just nice and relaxing on my own. So I decided to go ahead and, like, you know, go ahead and do this. And I, I had fun doing it. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but doing builds is really relaxing and therapeutic for me. Um, so yeah, I like to do that often when I feel like I just have a lot of my plate. No, no, I don't, mm, well, do I have a lot of my plate? Well, I guess I have finals and I have to, and I have to um, go ahead and move out soon, but I actually don't have a lot of papers to do right now just because of the monster paper that I would have had to turn in right now. I did it over spring break because I'm smart. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, but yeah, I, I do have something to do, but I just feel like that I have to study, of course, but I just feel like this was a nice choice to do. Just like a short little fun break from studying and things like that before I go to bed. <laughs> and I think it turned out well. I just, I think it turned out well. It didn't take me too long either to do this too, because it was only starter home. So I'm, I don't feel guilty about do, not doing this at all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm willing to see if you guys like it. It is a little bit of like an odd shape. I gave it a kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I guess like a diagonal right here, but I think it turned out really cute. The bathroom is super duper teeny. And unfortunately I had to put the sink outside of the bathroom, but I don't really think that's a really big problem. I mean, it's a mobile home, so it was going to be a weird shape. So I had to make a compromise somewhere. But overall, I think for a mobile home, this is actually, it was quite nice. I do really think it came out nice. Um, it's very, very like, it's kind of very much so a house I feel like anyone could like move into. Like it isn't a particular style in general. I try not to make it too much to like where 
Mr. Loner would only like this house because I know some of you guys would probably want a, another like starter home for your sims to like move in in and um for when i do give out the um the download link for the whole save file for when it's complete um and yeah i think it turned out nice i i used some of the new objects too from the update like i freaking love that new desk the new computer and the bookshelf and the bookshelf actually sits really really nice on top of the desk i really really like it together i think it looked really cool um so yeah and that computer too, like the little laptop with the glowing red keyboard looks exactly like mine. So I was like super excited that they had a swatch that looked like that because it reminded me of my computer. <laughs> Fun fact, I guess, for you guys to know. Um, something else too I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about as well um, is actually after for when I finish Strange Town and give you guys the download link. I want to know if you guys are cool with me um, uh, taking a break from like the more Sims 2 world type things and actually doing um, the herbs next. Like so doing the herbs in San Machuno. I think that would be something kind of fun because um, I really want to do Veronaville. Don't get me wrong, I really want, love to do Veronaville. Veronaville was my next favorite, next to um, Pleasant View. However, I just don't know um, where I want to put Veronaville. Because, like, so many people say, oh, like, Winningburg would be the obvious choice. But I feel like, since, again, like I've said, like, The Sims 2, town, like, Sims 2 worlds didn't have that many townies in it. I feel like doing a world that big would almost be kind of a waste because there isn't a whole lot of townies in them. So like I keep going back and forth whether I wanted to do Windenburg or if I'd rather move it to somewhere like um, the Cats and Dogs world, like from Luton Bay or something like that instead. Because yeah, I've, I've just been like thinking about it and I think it would maybe be better if I sat on it and like thought about it a little bit more um, versus like something like the herbs. Like obviously the obvious choice would be San Machuno. And since the herbs was a, video game that wasn't like in a PC like if you guys don't know what the herbs are it's basically um something like a spin-off game like from the franchise that <clears throat> was on console and Nintendo DS and Nintendo Advance and things like that and yeah I just think it would be fun to kind of do that so I'm interested in seeing your guys' opinions on that good luck to you guys if you guys also have finals let's get through this good and strong let's finish up the year good and strong um and yeah i hope you guys like this build make sure to give me a comment like and subscribe um we are a growing family and i always appreciate it we're also at 10,000, almost 10,000 views for um pleasant view like the original save file um video so thank you guys so so much that made me so freaking excited and i will be happy to see you guys and talk to you guys soon okay bye 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 Mwah.